joined by David Hopkins, who just won the clinching match for uh, Wake Forest against Florida State, beating Dominic Catron 6-4 in the third hop. Uh, it came down to you. You were the last match on court, uh, but you pulled it out. How do you think you played, and uh, how big a win was this for you guys? Um, I think I played pretty well. My whole goal was just to have fun today and, you know, really support my team in any way I can, and we did that in doubles and, you know, and came through in singles, um, and it's a big win for us. Uh, in my mind, I really wanted the third seed and I, for AC season. I'm thinking about that as we go on. Um, so it was a, definitely a big win for us, not only for AC season, but just in overall team confidence. Uh, what, what were you thinking when, when you, you know, it was you and Danny, pretty much the whole third set. You two were yeah. both battling. You guys needed one of them. And then, uh, you know, you saw Danny fall right before you were trying to serve it out. What was going through your mind? Um, I was really focused on my match. I know when I had match point at 5-3, I knew he was down 5-40. But then next thing I know, they were off the court, and I was actually serving at 5-4. So I really wasn't thinking about his match so much, you know. Uh, Breski always preaches kind of focus on your own court. And so that's what I was trying to do the whole third set. Uh, this is your fifth year here. You played a lot of matches. Where's this win, Where's this win rank? Um, this is a big win for me. Um, reminds me of a match last year. I think it was, we played in Maryland, I believe. Yeah, and it reminded me of that one, It was a very too. similar situation. So it's definitely up there, especially, you know, now that we're a much improved team and, you know, with great NCAA and ACC hopes and potential. So it's definitely a great win for me. All right. Thanks a lot, Hal. Thank you.